Warning, rambling incoming. I'm conflicted about the new film Detroit. In the past, there's been tons of films shot in Detroit, but not many actually about the city. When they are Robocop and 8 Mile, Detroit's not been seen in a very positive light. So when I heard that they were making a film called Detroit come out this year, I was interested. So what is it going to be about? The beginning of the U.S. oil industry? No. Music or the beginning of the Motown music revolution? No. About a group of people or family and a look at their everyday life? No. It's about the 1967 riot. Oh boy. Because of course that's what it's going to be about. New York and L.A. has had tons of films about them. So when there's a film about that city that doesn't look favorably on them, it's okay because there's a lot that do. Detroit's not so lucky. If you were to play a word association game and ask someone not from Detroit about the first thing that comes to their mind when you say Detroit, what do you think is going to pop up? Blight, crime, murder capital of the world, even though it's not and hasn't been for years. Bankrupt. Once again, it's not. Detroit's been out of bankruptcy for over a year now. Don't get me wrong, Detroit has a lot of work to do, but there is a lot of positive things coming out from here. I probably wouldn't have had a problem with this film being made if it, there were other films about the city already created. That said, this film did get me thinking. The point of the film is to show the right, yes, but also what inside it. Depending on who you ask in the city when it started or who caused it can vary. One thing I hope this film does show is how the police view the citizens of the city and how the city views the police. Because before the incident, both sides were on very shaky ground. And since then, everyone's opinion of the opposing side has only gotten worse. There should be a compromise, but unfortunately, as recent national news events have showed, the police, even if they're in the wrong and they're proved that they've done something illegal, nothing's going to happen to them. The public is told to respect the police's authority, but on the whole, the police doesn't seem to have the same mutual respect for the public it's supposed to serve. It may be too much to ask, but hopefully the film will be unbiased. Mistakes were made on both sides in 1967. I hope the film will show that the riot didn't happen because of just this one-time incident. The tensions were building a whole lot more before that in the community before that even happened. It would be nice if this film was successful that the Detroit community, the police department, or heck, even the state of Michigan and the state government would change their way of thinking and make positive changes and compromises in its thinking. I guess that might be asking too much. On a side note, the world premiere wasn't held in New York or L.A., but at the Fox Theater in downtown Detroit. So that's cool. Also, while the film opens nationwide next week, it actually opens in limited release in Detroit starting this Thursday. I think I'm going to see it. I'm still not sure if I'm going to review it though. Last thing I really hope is I hope this film won't over fictionalize the events. Maybe it's because I live here, but I think doing that would really marginalize the actual event and would be an, an insult to everyone who lives here or was there at the time.